Well, good Sunday afternoon to you all. Wanted to get a video up yesterday, but wasn't able to. Beautiful Sunday, 63 degrees, I think. So, before I go any further, thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you for all the thumbs ups, uh, the comments. I don't get any thumbs down. I don't know why. I must not be saying the right things. But uh, I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, get the alerts every time I put a video up. You will get alerted to it, and uh, you'll be able to watch the video. And also, what I didn't know uh, was pointed out to me was if you go down to the description where it has hashtags and all that, you see the more button. You hit that more button, it takes you to my store. I didn't know that. Um, I've had a store for a couple of years, and I totally forgot about it. And um, it's through Teespring. It's a third party but I have coffee mugs on there stickers t-shirts and you can order uh, those and they get shipped directly to you and if you want to do that that's greatly appreciated but I got I think three different styles of coffee mugs on there right now and then one style of t-shirt or two styles of t-shirt anyhow the bearded Welshman logo on the front and on the back it says light them up uh, I think it's the t-shirt but I'm trying to change the store up. But if you do want to buy some stuff, go ahead. The stickers are really cool. They're about that big. And the coffee mugs are nice. They're not bad. Um, I like the all white one. It says coffee just black, of course. And then you turn it over, it says light them up. But I also have the other one. I think I showed it on here once before. So didn't know that was on there. So take a look. Check out the store. So anyhow, just got back from Sunday dinner with the family the in-laws so decided to come out onto the porch hang out for a little bit <clears throat> got the little dog here and the big dog went with mama to the store but uh, just a nice day and kind of reminds me I love springtime especially the beginning of spring when we start getting some warm-ups and we get teased with it and stuff it reminds me when I was a kid kid <laughs> teenager kid I guess a kid and then a teenager and stuff but growing up those coming out of the winter days into the spring days we, we knew trout fishing was right around the corner we knew school was going to be out soon you know and it's just glorious days back then man as a kid as a, as a kid growing up to graduate high school man I don't know about you but for me couldn't ask for better better childhood we lived in a neighborhood where all our friends lived all the parents knew one another and uh, you can hear the humming of the army helicopters going overhead so I apologize for that if you hear that but uh, all the neighbor kids we would play wiffle ball kick the clan flashlight tag um, football backyard football but all the parents knew each other and uh, oh that's lifeline the medical helicopter um, but they all knew each other so you couldn't get away with squat in my neighborhood <laughs> because if you got in trouble at somebody's house mom and dad knew about it and that friend's mom or dad they weren't afraid to give you a little spanking then when you got home you got another one because they call your mom and dad and tell your mom and dad what you did so but the neighbors all looked out for one another you know we all hung out together we had a big community picnic every year um, but the, everybody looked out for one another it was great times really great time growing up and uh, you just don't see that anymore at least I don't see it anymore and I don't know if it's because I'm older or I'm not in that my kids are all grown up and but even my kids are growing up We didn't have that for them. And it's a shame. It's a shame. But those were the glory days, man. The good old days, as I used to call them. Back when, you know, you just, life was carefree as a teenager, as a, as a little kid. And you didn't know when things were bad because mom and dad, you know, they wouldn't tell you and they would just take care of things. And just, just a lot of fun, a lot of fun memories. 
I remember when, you know, I complain about the gas prices now. My dad had a, had a um, Volkswagen Rabbit. Powder blue. Had a sunroof in it. You open the sunroof like that. Just like the window cranks. Had window cranks on it. And it was stick shift. It was cool. And I'd say to you know, my, my brother and I, we would want to go down to Lancaster, hang out with some friends that we knew down there. And we'd say, Dad, can we have the car? Yeah, you can have the car. Fill it up. Because he had to go to work the next day for the week. And we used to complain because it was $5 to fill a stupid car full of gas. <laughs> and we both worked all through high school. So it wasn't like we were broke. We just didn't feel like spending 5 bucks on gas. But we did because my dad was like that. If you didn't put gas, he wanted you to at least put back into it where it was when you picked when you took the car. So wherever the fuel gauge was, you had to, <laughs> you had to put it back there or go the extra mile and just fill it up. And there were many times that we would just fill it up just because we were grateful that dad would let us use his car and stuff. But it was funny. My dad was like that. Put things back where you got them from. Make sure there's gas in the tank where it was when you left and oh man it was good old days <sighs> so nice not to have to wear a coat or a jacket trimmed the beard up this weekend a little bit a couple weeks ago I trimmed it back it was getting really bushy out here and stuff um, but I trimmed it down and it was like this but it was it was it was down to here last night i cut about that much off trim it back a little bit but still looks pretty good i still like it but it's nice it works i was going to go to a beard barber but forty dollars can't justify that and then if they don't do it the way i like it i just spent 40 bucks i'd rather get mad at myself for doing it myself than screwing it up than someone else doing it and me not liking it and then I gotta pay him a tip on top of that no a lot of motorcycles out today too everybody's taking advantage of the nice weather today but yeah the good old days you know when you get older you think about stuff like that and you think about the good old days and uh reminisce and you miss those days when we go where we go over to my in-laws for dinner all the uh my wife's brothers and sisters brothers and sister and the family their families they uh we get together a lot of sundays everybody's birthday on a sunday um but a lot of sundays outside of birthdays as well and uh we gotta drive about 35 40 minutes and it's where her and i grew up the area where we grew up and every time we go over there, we come back and we say, boy, we, we miss living over there. We've lived over here for three, going on four years. And uh, we love this area here. But you do. You go back to your hometown and you miss it a little bit. Um, before we moved here, her and I had never moved far away from home. So um, my brother, he twin brother, he moved to Texas. He was up here over February he was up here for a long time and he could not wait to get home um, but when you establish your home and that's it's home and my older brother he lives down uh, down towards Philly for now same thing I've been home for him for over I want to say 20 years um, after he after he graduated high school, he moved out, went and worked at a camp, a church camp, for a while. And him and his wife got married, and then they went, which is where him and his wife met. It's where I met his wife, too. I met her at the same time he did, because I worked there over the summers. And then they moved, went to college, and uh, now he's the president of that university. And uh, haven't looked back, but some people, they like to stay close to home where they grew up and that's okay um, me at some point I'd love to move oh sorry I didn't mean to do that I would love to move somewhere 
where my neighbors are like right there. They're not right up on me. I have a pretty nice sized lot, but they're there. I can see them. They can talk to me from across the street. And, and I, I don't mind that. But the older I get, the more I seem to not want to be bothered. Um, and I don't know if it's a Pennsylvania thing. Like I said earlier, when my kids were growing up, man, we couldn't get parents to engage and get to know us and in the neighborhood. So it was, it was, it was next to impossible. It's like people didn't want to have nothing to do with, like nobody trusted anybody anymore or they were afraid to get to know you. Yet we come out with Facebook and everybody wants to tell you their business on, on social media and Facebook and Instagram and whatever else they have out there. doesn't make sense. So at some point I would like to move to where we're a little bit more separated from our neighbors. I'd like to have at least three acres of land. I'd love to get more than that, but it's expensive. And in Pennsylvania, it's expensive. And I don't want to move out of the state or too far away because my grandchildren, um, you know, they're going to be coming. My, my, my grandson's four, so... He's getting to that point where, you know, he's going to be the, the, the good, he's, he fishes, he wants to hunt, he's like his mom and dad, and we'll be able to go fishing and do some fun stuff, and then my granddaughter, she was born in December, and she's just the most precious little, precious little thing, you know, I love her to death, and uh, I want to be able to see her grow up too, sorry about that. The missus is uh, texting me. Didn't mean to have that go off. So, you know, what do you do? It's one of those. What do you do? But, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about my childhood. And teen years, teenage years. It was so much fun. And I was a teenager in the 80s, so think about that one. Uh, I was I was not the wild child in the 80s. I I knew I knew when to cut the limit. I knew where the limit was. Um, I never never got out of control. I didn't drink until I was of age. Uh, I never did a drug in my life. I never had a desire. I don't but I loved my glam rock and heavy metal and hard rock and I like all kinds of music actually. Country is my favorite. My brother, my twin brother and I, we pout around together all the time. Obviously we're twins and we we're close and I'd like to think we're still close, which I think we are. And then my older brother, we're even closer with him now than when we, because in high school, man, you know, you, siblings, you have that sibling rivalry and stuff going on, so. But the old hometown I'm, I'm, I grew up in that area uh, we were back there not too long ago which is over towards where my in-laws live and uh, it's changed so much so much and you know that's progress that's what happens uh, the mall we grew up going to as little kids and into our teen years and hanging out they're tearing that down uh, that's the one thing I wish they'd bring back malls I loved going to the mall especially Christmas time we used to decorate up so nice and the music we'd play and it was just a nice place to go. And then when we were teenagers we'd hang out and meet our friends and we'd go with our girlfriends and just a fun fun experience, but life grows on. Then you become an adult. Then you start paying money out for your bills. You pay more for your taxes because you're making more money. You know, you have a family and you raise them, you grow up and, you know, and you just, you learn to be thankful for your life, for the life you've had, especially if you've had a good life. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't trade my childhood for anything. My mom and dad were awesome parents. My brothers, we had a blast. My friends, 
the neighborhood. It was a lot of fun. It was great memories. It was a great way to grow up. And I'm learning to embrace getting older. You know, I'm 55. I miss, the, I miss the color in my beard, but I guess chrome's not so bad. I don't know. Um, I'm not all gray yet. But we, that's another subject for another time. Because what I see, social media and everything, people trying to reverse aging. Aging's a part of life. We're here, but like that. I mean, 40 years ago, I was 15 years old. Flew by. Um... I remember being a child laying in the backyard, you know, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years old, laying in the backyard on the ground, looking up at the sky and watching the clouds go by and thinking, wow, what a neat, what a neat world we live in, you know. I remember moments like those. The life was, was fun. It was good. It's still good. It's still fun. But you grow and you age and you, and you, uh, impose your wisdom on your children and pray that they had a good time growing up and they're all doing good they're moving on with their lives you know getting their own places raising their families and it's just a great thing to watch and that's the circle of life well i've taken up enough of your time so I'm going to sit back here in the porch, relax a little while longer, and uh, maybe do something out in the yard. So we got days are longer, and then daylight savings is next next week. But the days are longer. It doesn't get dark at 5 right now, so I got some time. See you all in the next one.